everyone, I'm Amanda with Sweet Pieces and welcome to our video on how to do a color wash with chalk style paint. So this is a really popular technique. I love doing this technique. It's super easy and it makes you look like a total furniture painting professional. So you're going to start by base coating in the color of your choice. Depending on what color mixes you use, um, it's really going to vary the way that it looks. So you can start with a dark color and do a light wash. You could do a light color and do a dark wash. You can do um, a wash where the colors are similar in tone and it will just kind of give you like a monochromatic watercolory type of a look. So super easy. This kind of mimics the look of a glaze, but it's not going to be as consistent as a glaze can be. So what I'm going to do, I, we base coated this in Palace White, one of my favorite Jolie matte finish paint colors. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous white. And now I'm going to be doing a wash in Noir. So Noir is um, the black version of the Jolie paint, which is amazing. So of course, with this product, no sanding, no stripping, no priming required. So we just cleaned our piece and then we went ahead and painted it base coat. Did we do two coats? Two coats. So this is two coats of white. This was like a really awful yellowy table beforehand. So what I'm doing is I'm just dipping my paint brush. This is a chip brush, by the way, into a little bit of paint. I don't need a lot of paint on my brush. And now I have a spray bottle of water and I'm going to spritz the surface. So I'm going to spritz, spritz, spritz. I'm going to work from top to bottom and I'm kind of going a little backwards because I am going to pull this piece down in a minute and do the top to show you guys. I normally wouldn't do that. I would normally start with the top, um, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm a rule breaker sometimes. So I'm going to break a little bit of rules here. So I'm brushing this Noir on here. I'm getting it into all the grooves and crevices. This is a great technique for getting into all the grooves and crevices. And this has like some just such pretty detail on it. This is a great technique for that. So, you know, if you've painted your piece in one color and you just feel like it needs a little more pizzazz, this is a great technique to use. And I love doing this with a gray. This would be really pretty in a gray. Oh, and I didn't spritz this. So I'm spritzing. I'm wondering why the paint is sticking. I forgot my own steps. Okay, so now once I have the paint kind of all spread out on here, and you do have to you need to kind of work quickly with this type of a technique because it is going to dry fast. I have my favorite shop towels and now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to wipe this back. So some of you, um, you know, we, we sell a lot of colored wax here and we love colored wax, but this is a really easy way to get the look of a colored wax. And you really have a lot of control with, you know, how much of it you wipe back or how much you leave on there. But again, you have to work quickly because it is, it is going to dry fairly quickly. So I'm just kind of wiping this back until I get the effect that I want. Look how pretty that is. Love it. I mean, trust me, like you could be a total novice and really rock this technique. It's super super easy. Look how pretty that is. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm now going to take this table down for you and I'm just going to show you how to work on a flat surface. So I'm going to pull this down here and then we have this flat surface. Now if you're doing something like a very large surface, so let's say you're doing like a dining table top or you're doing a credenza, something like that. You do want to make sure that as you're working with your spritz and your paint, you can kind of get like paint uh, or sorry, water splatter on an area that you just worked on. And that is going to, it almost like burns a hole in the finish and you're going to be very aggravated because you're going to have to go back over it. So here are a couple of tips. You can either use a bowl of water instead of a spray bottle and you can dip your brush into the water and go onto the piece that way. Or um, sometimes I'll spritz my brush or I just try to get the whole surface at once. 
again, if it's if it's much larger than this, it's going to be hard. If you're doing, you know, a dresser that's say this big, let's say that's 42 inches, um, that you might be able to get in one swipe, but anything larger than that, you're probably going to need to do it into sections. So use my tip of either grabbing a bowl of um, water or spritzing your brush. So now I'm going to spritz my entire surface. I'm going to take my brush that has a little bit of paint on it and I'm just going to go back and forth here. And you want to make sure that you have enough water on there that your paint isn't getting like stuck. So if your paint starts getting stuck, let me try to show you what that looks like. You know, see it's pretty heavy right here. Um, you could just take a little bit of water and just spritz it out. And that will usually do the trick. So I'm going to get this all over the edges. That looks awesome. I'm digging it. And again, you know, make sure you're varying your colors because you can really create some very, very beautiful looks. But going back to what I was saying before, if you feel like you just want to take your furniture projects to another level, this is such an easy technique to do. So many customers come to us and they're like, I painted it, it's one color, it's so boring, what do I do? I want it to have more depth and dimension. See, that's very dark. And this is a really easy way to spritz my brush there to add that depth and dimension. So once I get this all spread out, and this really is as big as I would want to go, you know, in one fail swoop. I wouldn't want to go any bigger than this. I'm going to take my shop towel and I'm just going to start wiping. Now, I will tell you, I've tried to do this with other paints. Um, you guys probably know we also carry General Finishes Furniture Paint, which is an amazing line of paint. You can't do this with that paint. You need some additional products. You either need a glaze you, or you need um, extender. Um, it's, you just can't. If you're using a regular latex paint, some of the other um, copycat brands of chalk paints, you can't really do it with those. I've tried. So this is a special technique that works really well with the Jolie matte finish paint. And now I'll just go on to the top here. And why? Why is it so special? So what's so special about it is that the paint doesn't have plastic in it. So it allows you to manipulate it. It's almost, you know, made of like minerals and stone. And it's a really fun, fun paint to play with. All right. So I dig it. I like it. If you look closely here, you can kind of see, like even over here, it's really caught into some of these grooves and crevices of the wood over here. Like there's some pock marks. And this, it gives it like a lot of character and it makes it look really beautiful. So again, this is just a really easy way to create a, the look of almost like a glaze type of a finish. And you can see how quickly and easily I did this. Um, I don't have magic hands or anything. It's, it's super simple. No matter you, what your skill level is, you could definitely do a color wash. So if you're looking for a way to just upgrade your furniture and have a little bit of fun with your techniques, this is definitely a great way to do it. I hope you guys will come and visit us in Huntington if you're close enough to live by us. Come visit us. Come see all we have to offer here. And if you're not close enough, then definitely follow us on all of our social media channels, including now we're on TikTok, believe it or not. Um, and also, we just launched digital classes, virtual classes. So if you want to come and take a class with us and you don't live far enough, far, if you don't live close enough to us, guess what? So we just launched virtual classes. We have two of them coming up. Um, in August. So definitely check out our website. We'll throw up a link for it. And basically you're going to order a kit. We'll send it to you and you'll jump on a Zoom call with us and do the class with me in my home. So I hope to see you guys soon. 
And I can't wait. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Definitely tag us, show us your projects, and follow us on Instagram. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Want to learn more? Subscribe now.